Hello and welcome back to Voxel Space. Um, there has been quite a bit of work done on this, so I'm just going to be showing it off because, yeah, that's what a dev log is for, and it's been a while, but a lot has been done. So first off, you should see this snazzy title screen, and um, we'll just play it to show what that actually does. So you can see the loading bar does go up, and random things are said here. Some are actually true things. Others are just kind of ridiculous things I threw in with a few friends to, um, you know, make it not as boring. Waiting. There's quite a few different things they can say. There's like 45 different ones. So, yeah, quite a bit of, uh, possibilities. And the chunk generation has pretty much been perfected at this point in time. I added screen space ambient occlusion to make the corners of blocks a little bit darkened and look better. You may feel those lag spikes. That's because the Unity editor does not allow that much RAM. It doesn't do this on the actual game, though. And it unloads chunks. So now I still have to work on the saving and loading. It was working before, but I broke it. But as you move, it loads chunks near you, and it unloads the chunks far away, meaning that you can move around without, you know, it's pretty important. This is one of those examples of a chunk I saved before, and it's not loading properly, so it's invisible. <laughs> yeah, that does have to be worked on. But other than that, things are uh, looking pretty nice. We've got our placing blocks, which is slightly broken, too. <laughs> yeah, when I rewrote the generation and stuff, I broke a ton of stuff that I'm going to be messing around with now. But I think just because the saving and loading... Well, loading and unloading, not the saving part. The loading and unloading chunks is working pretty well. Except for, you know, some bugs that do need to be fixed, but those will be worked on. But that, that's the update. Um, I'll quickly do a build of it to show the real version. Which should load up pretty quickly here. If you see on the bottom left, we've got a little no reference exception, which will be fun to fix. That's probably actually pretty simple. Oh no, I know what that is. That is not simple, because that error is actually slightly lying. Slightly. But, oh, jeez, okay. Got, gotta work on that. <laughs> Whoa, that menu went a little bit weird when it stretched to the screen. But we can see that we have everything from before. We're able to pretty quickly go around. <sighs> this is a problem that needs to be worked on. It's causing chunks not to load properly, but I, I know why it's happening. It's loading chunks very quickly, and because it's loading them so fast, it's trying to load one before the other one's finished, and that can cause it to skip a little bit. And skipping causes a block to not, or something like this to happen, where it puts the chunk into the wrong place. But that can be fixed by just putting in a little list and having them go in the correct order and basically wait. But other than that, it's mostly working correctly. We've still got the layers going on, the ore generation, the glow effect, um, the core, beautiful glowy core. And yeah, lots of work being done. It performs much better than before and... It, uh, just in general, a lot more is done. I do have to fix this, though. It does need to be fixed. <laughs> but it will be fixed. It will. Thank you for watching, guys. If you support this, uh, game development, then, you know, uh, thank you. And, um... Yeah, leave a like if you're interested. This will continue being worked on. I will continue driving myself insane as new bugs pop up. And see you guys next time. Now my controls are reversed because I'm upside down.
Ah. During the editing of this, I noticed that the last part where I actually opened the game, it looks pretty choppy. That's that's the recording. That's not the actual game. Just a heads up. It's not that badly optimized.